Hey, what's going on, everybody? John Haddock here for Think About Comics, joined by... Your boy, William Bethea! Today we're going to be talking Woo-hoo! about Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood, Issue 2. Issue what 2. What do you think, man? Okay. Alright, so, I said, Issue 1 was great. It showed us some history. Got us involved in what he was. You know what I'm saying? These are true stories. Supposed to be true stories. You know what I'm saying? This isn't the, the messed up fake visions that he had before. The fake uh, uh, memories. Everything is good now. And then you give me this. Who don't Wolverine know? Who don't Wolverine? What war did he not fight in? What? Look, look. He's been a spy everywhere. Where? Look, look. look. Can somebody tell me what what's his frequent flyer mileage? This dude need to be a millionaire. What 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 else it could he do? I mean, look, look. Let me tell you something. I am a saber two fan. I am a saber two fan. Saber two. Hey, look. You know he got money. You ever picked up any of those past issues of saber two? You know he got money. He been doing deals. He got businesses. He do things, okay? You ain't never seen Wolverine do nothing. You know what? I tell you, I just suck me in. Just suck. Whoo! Hey, look. Three stories. All Wolverine being the greatest hero of all time. All right. Okay. That's what I felt about it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I didn't mind this book. I mean, I'm, I've never really been the big X Men guy. I love the fights. I love any time I get to read a fight between Wolverine and Saber Two. Yes, I do too. So I was in. I was all in on that story. The second story was a little weak. Weak for me. Arcadia? I don't. Arcade is is a throwaway villain. I don't care about him, and it's just I don't know. Uh, the first issue, in my opinion, was better. Yes. But I think the 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 tip of the mountain for this book was the final story. We get. Uh, Chris Claremont writing X Men again, and it felt like I was reading one of the the original '80s, early '90s Wolverine issues. You know, you okay. got Kate Pride, yeah. and they're doing some crazy stuff on Mad Report. Yeah, I really enjoy what they're doing with this. Okay. They kind of stole what DC's doing with Batman. It started in the '90s, and we got again, and and now they brought it back again okay. with the Batman Black and White. And they're doing a really good job with Wolverine. I think Wolverine's the best character you can do this with for Marvel because he's been around so long. You have so many stories you can do. Just like with Batman, Batman's very easy to write for. He, he's very relatable. Okay. He's a detective. He's a billionaire. He can travel, do all kinds of stuff. Wolverine, you could pick multiple timelines and tell these stories. I really want to see those explored. Okay. And we're seeing that with this. We have a, a, a story that takes place kind of maybe when the X-Men really ain't really doing a whole lot of stuff mm-hmm. because he gets sent out on a hit mission by Xavier. Mm-hmm. Then the second one, he's kind of doing his own thing. Maybe he's with the Avengers, whatever. Mm-hmm. whatever. We yeah. don't know. And then the other one, it, it has to take place when he's patched, when the X-Men go, they fake their death, they go to X-Factor, whatever, and then they go here. So this is doing a lot of good stuff. I, I, I'll tell you what, when it first came out, when it first was advertised, I was like, oh, great, another Wolverine book. Yeah. But, and I say that because he's in so many titles. Yes, he is. He has his own book. He yep. has, he's in X-Force, he's in X-Men, he's in any time, any Avengers. Other, he's in all these books. Yes. This one makes Wolverine cool again. Okay. Because when you read it, it's just him being cool. All these other ones, he has so much baggage. He's got to go through all these character development hoops, a ton of stuff. This one, it's just bare bones. He's got the claws. Someone's stepping up to the table. They want to show out the title, and he's killing them. You got him, right? That's that's what that's what this book is doing really well, and that's why I'm going to con- continue getting this. And I hope they continue doing these kind of stories for Wolverine because okay. they work. I love the anthology stuff. Okay, I'm telling you right now. I'm hoping they put out maybe. Three more of these. I think this I is a hope, limited to six. Yeah, I, okay, six. There you go. Give me six. I'm going to put them in my bag. I'm going to tape it. I'm going to put it in my, my, my bed. Never touching them again. That's disrespectful. Okay, I'm never touching them no, again. I, I'm, I'm really okay. enjoying these books, man. I can't. I, I'm definitely going to get the, the hardcover when it comes out, if they offer us a hardcover. I'm just saying, Wolverine is like... 
everything. He's everything. You might as yeah. well give him cosmic powers. I mean, you might. I mean, what, 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 he's immortal. He runs around with a ton of goddamn old animanium on him. Yet he moves like a cat. The dude, if it hurts, he heals fast. He been through every war, so he's technically sound in every position. He's the greatest leader of all time, yet he always on solo missions. He's I just I, okay, oh okay. You know what? Okay, okay. You know who would be a great title that you could find and say, hey, guess what? His stories would be exceptionally brilliant in this game. Cable. Who? Cable has been through. Every time dealing with a major issue with his apocalypse, he has dealt with so much crazy. <laughs> he killed himself. He killed himself. Look, man, out. Whatever. You, 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 Wolverine. So uh, let me say this. I'll leave us on this note. Okay. And then, and then okay. We'll, we'll, okay. we'll close this yeah, one down. All right. What you just heard was coming from a man who despises Wolverine. And Cable is his favorite character. So there's a lot of bias. There's a lot of fanboy going on right here. Come on, man. This is a really good book. This is one of the better books that Marvel's putting out from the X-Men line. Uh, I really enjoy this. And I'm not really big on the X-Men. I, Wolverine's really cool. Wolverine is, is he's, he's the best at what he does. And what he does isn't good. And as always, guys, you know, give us a like, give us a subscribe, hit us up in the comments section. We definitely want to hear what you guys saw of this book. We love having those conversations with you guys. Thanks. Peace.